Kate, thank you. City Hall and the Baltimore Police Department are teaming up in an effort to improve public safety by reaching out to immigrants in the city. Yeah, this is part of the Safe Cities initiative announced earlier this year that helps those facing deportation with legal help. 11 News' Andre Hepkins joins us with more on today's announcement. Andre? Well, Stan, Deb, the city has partnered with the nonprofit Open Society Institute on the program that will allow immigrants, if arrested by federal immigration enforcement agents, to receive free legal aid. Four organizations received grants as part of the program, including the CARE Coalition, Catholic Charity Esperanza, the Pro Bono Resource Center, and the Cary School of Law Immigration Institute. City officials say this is in response to an uptick of immigration arrests. Today, Police Commissioner Kevin Davis said police support immigrant communities in the city and continue to foster relationships to improve public safety. The Baltimore Police Department realizes the necessity of relationships with all communities, regardless of immigration status. Uh, we simply don't care to partner. We won't partner, never have, never will, with any federal immigration law enforcement efforts. Open Society Institute Baltimore added the fear in the communities is negatively impacting the children. They've seen a decrease in attendance among the Baltimore City schools of students with immigrant parents. This is a very bad situation. It's these are, of course, many of these children are citizen children, but regardless whether they're immigrant or citizen children, they're not getting the education they need because of fear. And the city's investment will be matched by a grant from the Vera Institute of Justice. Other funds were raised through charity organizations and the public and will help about 900 people. Live in the studio, Andre Hopkins, WBAL TV 11 News.